Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that were posted on Thursday, 11th of May 2023. These trades here were shared by TB, who is trading S&P 500 in form of CFD using a Forex broker. As you see here, the one minute trading chart is showing downtrend and you can see the structural trend here and you can see within that the dynamic channel of the trading charts. So he took sell short positions in these areas and also waited for the pullback to be completed and again entered multiple sell short positions and managed and closed them with profit. Then when the pullback got completed and the price reached the support area and went up, he identified an uptrend and using the setup B, he entered also long position here and managed this one also with profit. So thank you EB for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Jan, our global instructor who is trading NASDAQ futures. As you see from the macro chart, we see the price break up and that was a sign of reversal and uptrend that can be seen the breakout also in a structural chart here and this uptrend was identified with the five second trading charts and using algo one to five and setup t he entered multiple long positions and managed them closed them with profit we can see the result of the day that was showing the profit factor of 26 with 85 percent win rate and average win to loss ratio of 4.38. The largest winning trade was $300 and the largest losing trade was $20. So thank you Yang for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those I have taken during the New York market session and the video with explanation was sent yesterday to students. So I'm gonna replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a few trades that I have taken today. On Thursday, 11th of May 2023, these trades were taken on NASDAQ and Russell futures. As you see from the 60 minute chart, the price went as high as 13,450. And during the global session, it went down and passed the previous day close and retested uh, this level of point of control and previous close and highs of two days ago and the price got rejected and the buyers came back. So when the New York market opened, we can see that the price went down initially and tested again this area around 13,360 and it got rejected and buyers came back. So these few waves here that were going up and down and getting rejected was shown here. It's kind of wide range side wave, but the buyers were strong. So every time with setup B and C, I entered long position and took these kind of channels that you can see in 10 second charts with long positions uh, around 936 uh, to 10. And also took long position on Russell, you can see here around 10 o'clock and just finished before the Fed members started speaking. Uh, so I finished for the day and all of these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And we can see the result for the day was showing profit factor of 4.88 on average with about 71% win rate all from the long sides and average win to loss ratio of 1.95. The largest winning trade was 380 and the largest losing trade was 129. So I hope these trades taken by the PAT system with the order flow confirmation is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.